Good morning, everybody. Um, I'm going to tell you first, okay. My answers to Jasmine's tag, I would describe them in whimsical. It is whimsical. Yes. <clears throat> As was whimsical. So I can't talk today. You guys, I'm so dehydrated. Yesterday was so hot. But it was like, well, there was a breeze and we really didn't sweat. But I feel drained. I really do. And so I didn't really feel like hot. You know, like burning. No, it was nothing like that. Because like I said, there was a breeze. But today I'm in so much pain. And I'm tired. And I feel like somebody's beating me to death. Or near death. So, um, I'm doing Jasmine's tech to get my mind off of it. And, anyways, I think, okay, like, you know, we laugh in the, uh, community of my disability that the women are fairies and the men are elves. Trust me. Look them up. Look them up. It's the truth. I'm just saying. Okay, um, and I'm talking about the little squatty short guys. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, okay, let's go ahead. Whimsical, playful, quaint, fanciful, especially in appealing and amusing way. Okay, now I'm, I think that's pretty cool. And the synonyms are fanciful, playful, mischievous, Waggish, I'll get to that in a minute, quaint, quizzical, curious, droll, and, and it goes on, okay, alright, uh, I think you guys get that idea, but waggish, what is waggish, hold on a second, we'll find out, sorry, humorous and playful, mischievous, or fictitious manner. Yeah, I think that means kind of sneaky, kind of ornery, so to speak. All right, now let's get on with this tag. So while we're talking about whimsical, I decided to make this picture like in the Enchanted Forest. And um, I, I do love that stuff, I do. And, you know, I think that the next go-around is much like, a neat little whimsical place. Actually, it's enormous, but do you know what I mean? It's like everything is just like in tune with everything and very um, lush and beautiful and colorful. Um, that's just me. Okay, so Jasmine's questions are as follows. There are 11 of these. <clears throat> but actually, you get 11 choices, so you'll see. What animal would you rather be? Number one, giraffe, hippopotamus, and zebra. Giraffe. They're so beautiful. <gasps> They're so gentle. I, I just cannot even express how beautiful they are. But that's what I want to be. Number two, rhino, elephant, or bear? I would say elephant because... <laughs> You never forget. You know what I'm saying. You never forget. Three. A deer, fox, or a hedgehog. I'm going to say a fox because they're they're beautiful. And despite the fact that they do eat chickens and coyotes eat chickens and the poor chickens. And we eat chickens. So anyway. Um, <laughs> but they're, they're fun. They're just funny. They're fun to watch. They're beautiful too. Love them, love them. Um, I would want to be a hedgehog only if I was Sonic. Four is, uh, raccoon, hyena, or anteater. <clears throat> okay, anteater right there, um, makes me want to gag. For real. Gross. Um, just... Think about it, ant eater. So I'm going to pick a raccoon because they're kind of mischievous in a way and they like to dig through things and I'm really famous for that. Um, I don't dig through trash though, I will say that. But uh, I am not a dumpster diver. Really, I'm not. 
Uh, I have friends who have dumpster dive before. Not for food, but for stuff, you know, like, um, the one got a halogen lamp, a light, uh, one of those, remember those long, tall ones? I don't think they make those anymore, the halogen things. Um, because they blow up, they catch fire and stuff real easy. Uh, but anyways, no, I, I've never done it. Okay, five is gorilla, crocodile, or polar bear. Well, gorillas are like people in a lot of way, except they're like animals. Does that, make, does that even make sense? I don't know. I just don't look, gorilla, look at a gorilla as an animal, per se, because we are so close. You know, um, however, they may not be as close as we think, but judging on how they look and stuff, I was looking into this uh, orangutan, his eyes, right? And it was like looking at a person. It was, it was really neat. Okay. Um, and I did get a picture of that on my Facebook. Okay. The gorillas are cool. But I am going to choose a polar bear because they like to frolic and, um, see, we're only going on what the media shows us because I've never been to the North Pole. The zoo doesn't count. Well, kind of, sort of. They are still polar bears, but they're really cool. They're good. They're good polar bears. <laughs> and they have one at the zoo called uh, Nora is her name. And she is adorable. She's a little baby. I think they said she was three months old. And she was bigger than a dog. Yeah, these things get big. Uh, <laughs> cobra, anaconda, or a python? I'm going to say a cobra. Because when they stand up, they look kind of neat. They're scary, but yet it looks neat. I would never want to see one in the out. No. Okay. Seven, hawk, eagle, or owl. This is a very difficult decision because I love eagles and I love owls. Uh, owls are very regal, again, and very, uh, I don't know, don't they kind of look like little wizards or something? Wizards. Uh, they're used for a couple of symbols, none that appeal to me, but owls are very beautiful, and, uh, it's kind of, they're kind of creepy, too, because it's like they look into your soul, you know, if you're, I've seen one, like, in real life, and it was like, I can see your thoughts, and I was like, oh, okay, you're pretty, but no, we cannot be friends, um, eagles are just, like, Bitch, I am all that. Okay, that is how they work. Uh, you know, it is our bird here in the United States. Yeah, the bird is badass. As for us, I don't know. I'm not even going there. Um, but I live here. This is my home. And um, I do like it. I like it. I I love my, I love, I love my country, okay? I don't like what our government does, but I love our country, definitely. The government's a mess, always has been, and, you know, no, I'm not one of those people that you want to make fun of going, America, no, but I like where I live, okay? And I'm glad I live here. Um, and I've been to other places, so it's not like, whatever. Uh, let me think. What is on there? So I'm going to pick eagle. Eight. Sea turtle, seahorse, or sea lion? Mm. I'm going to say a seahorse. Because why? A seahorse is, is again, kind of majestical looking. Whimsical. They, um, just the way they move. And they just kind of like go along like, yeah, I am cool. Check it out. Look how I swim. I'm beautiful. And somebody's going to steal me. And they're going to dry me up. And then somebody's going to buy me at some aquarium. Yeah. Real seahorse. 
it's so wrong. <laughs> no, I do not wear fur either. Mm, no. All right. Great white shark, a piranha, or a killer whale? I'm going to say a killer whale. Just because they really don't look like a shark. They're beautiful. And they are actually, I think they're part of the shark family. No, it'd be killer whale. God, I just had a stupid moment. Um, they're still whales. They're whales. I thought they were in the shark family. I am so sorry. I know. You're so stupid. You're so stupid. Look at you. Look how stupid you are. Can't even show your face. You want to show a stupid picture. <laughs> alright, alright. I am going to go for the killer whale because I like the way they look. I think they're very, they're different. They're unique. Uh, they're amazing. They're just amazing. And I hate for two reasons why um, I hate the fact that SeaWorld had to close down because of how they treated the whales. And that, that makes me mad. That makes me mad. I do remember going to see them and asking my mother about it, actually, and saying, do you think they're nice to the animals? She said, oh, I'm sure they are. Ah, okay. Zoos, I do believe these people really care about the animals, only for the simple reason they're volunteers. Yeah. Most of the people who work in the zoo are volunteers. That's a nice little FYI, isn't it? Pating. Okay. <clears throat> Tiger, lion, or black panther? Hmm. I'm going to say a black panther. Because they freak people out the most. They scare people to death. And, you know, what a great way to just make sure that mean people stay away. Right? It doesn't always work. Because, unfortunately, these, these beautiful creatures do get killed. As do all these other beautiful creatures that we're talking about. For human pleasure. Um, these are the animals you do not mess with. You know, they're just so unique, and a panther is is just, I don't know, I've always loved them. I always thought they were pretty, and they're cute. And I love their little ears, because they're like bear ears, right? The one I saw, at least. And I just wanted to pet him so bad that, you know, the chances are of him probably killing me are a little better than hanging out with, say... A sea turtle. <laughs> okay, within the animals that you picked, describe yourself in one word. And that word, my friends, is whimsical. I am. Like a fairy, kind of. You know, um... People who meet me, meet me in person are said, they've said, oh yeah, definitely. Because I am a kind of, a kind of mischievous, but I don't mean any harm. Does that make sense? Um, I am. I appreciate different things, I guess. I, I like things that are more spiritual-ish. Like, okay, if I if I ever was an angel, which I don't think so, um, but if I was, um. I would be the whimsical little angel that's probably like, I don't know, I don't know, I just, I just do. I think I would be like, kind of whimsical-ish, kind of, you know, flighty, kind of, which I am. Uh, giggly, which I am. Um, hanging out in the woods, the heavenly woods. Wah! Okay. Anyways, you guys, I love you, peace be with you, and by all means, have a very blessed day and week. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.